everybody, I'm Marshall Fagers here to show you how to take apart and reassemble a QA1 large body twin tube shock. Some of the tools you'll need are a shock vise, spanner wrench, basic hand tools. First step, mount the shock in the shock vise. Then you want to take your closure nut wrench and loosen the closure nut. Once that's unthreaded, I'll slide that up out of the way. Inside here, there's a closure nut O-ring. Using a pick, you can dig the O-ring out of its groove. Next step, you want to pull up on the piston rod, wiggle it back and forth a little bit. And here's the piston rod assembly. The next step, you want to remove the compression tube from the body. Just pull that out. I'll dump the oil out. If you're actually rebuilding the shock, we recommend using new oil during reassembly. But since this is a new shock, we're going to use the same oil. And then we want to remove the gas bag from the body. Just to make sure everything is clean, I'm going to dump the oil out of the shock body. If this is a used shock, now would be the time to clean out the inside of the body using a brush some solvent, simple green uh, brake cleaner. Uh, the next thing I want to do is pop the seal out of the gland assembly. And you can do that using a little bit of compressed air and a blow gun. Just takes a little pop. The seal sits into the gland uh, pretty tight, so it does take some air to pop it out of there. Once you have the compression tube, clean, the gas bag all cleaned off, and reinsert that into the shock body. It's a good idea to wrap the bag kind of around the tube to get it started, and put the tube into the body. This is a new 51 series QA1. We have a little bit larger body diameter, so the gas bag drops right in. Uh, I got the gas bag in. It's not sticking up above the tube. It's not pinched down below the base valve. So now I can add shock oil back to the shock. Here you just want to pour the oil into the shock body. It doesn't matter if it goes in or outside the compression tube. Uh, just fill it all the way up until the oil level is about a quarter inch above the top of the compression tube. Next step, we're going to reassemble it. It's a good idea to put a new O-ring for the closure nut. First step, take the piston and slowly insert it into the compression tube. The oil's gonna overflow, so if you have a drip cup, now would be a good time to put that on the shock body. So with one hand, I like to hold the top of the compression tube down to keep the tube from getting pulled up when I pull up on the piston rod. I'm gonna let the rod fall down into the shock about an inch, inch and a half, and I'm gonna stop it. I'm gonna cover up the top of the shock body. I'm gonna hit the end of the rod with a, a soft-faced hammer, rubber mallet, two, three, a few times like that. And that flips the valve disc open and lets any air that's trapped in the piston escape. Uh, so now holding the top of the compression tube down, I'm gonna push down on the piston rod, pull up all the way up until it hits the side of my thumb at the very top, push down again. And as you do that, you can kind of feel the air bubbles coming out of the piston. You can hear them too. Um, once you do that a few times, you'll see that the bubbles start disappearing and the shock is bled of air. So now I put my thumb over the edge of the top of the compression tube, pull the piston all the way up to the top. I'll side load the rod to keep it from compressing back down, pushing it to the side. I'm going to slide the gland back down into the shock body. You can see the rod went down about a quarter, three-eighths of an inch. So now before I slide the seal down, which is right here, I'm going to hold the gland down and pull up on the rod. And there's a puddle of oil at the top here. Um, you want to leave that oil there because it's going to try to suck any air in if there's not oil. Pull that back up. It took about a quarter inch. Now I'll slide the seal down. At this point, if you have a rag, you can wipe the oil away. You use a uh, suction bottle. Suction off this oil that's on top of the seal. So I'll do a suction bottle, take a rag, wipe it out. Then you want to take the closure nut o-ring. I'm going to press that down into the O-ring groove. 
then you slide the closure nut down and tighten it up. Once you get the closure nut tight, you want to fully extend the rod, make sure that's all the way out, and then compress the shock all the way down. Uh, if there's a dead spot the first inch, it means you have air in the shock or the gas bag is broken. Uh, if, if when you go to compress the shock all the way, the rod springs back out, you likely have a base valve problem, which means the base valve is too soft compared to the piston. Click here to subscribe to our channel and here to visit our website. Thanks for stopping by.